No more waiting. No more announcements. This is it. This is what you dudes have been asking for since day one. And we're finally doing it. We will be answering all of the questions you sent us. It's been a while since we all sat down together, you know? Kinda missed y'all. Let's just hope that things don't go too chaotic. I've read some of these questions beforehand, and trust me, we're in for one heck of a ride. Are we simply going to disregard the fact that our FewTube channel has reached 50,000 scrubscribers? Already? We're not disregarding it. We're just showing our gratitude by making an announcement. Wait a minute, are you dudes talking about the merch? Indeed we are, my good man. We will be releasing hoodies, shirts, as well as a few other things once our channel reaches 100,000 scrubscribers. By the way, all the questions you see in the video are from the Discord server. It's Piscord, but please, and do go on. So if you haven't joined already, go right ahead. But keep in mind, if you are a sensitive person and get offended easily, we would suggest not to join. Yeah, keep that sensitive drama BS out of it. Basically, join at your own risk. Anyway, we have a long and fun video prepared for you guys. So as I always say, sit back, scrub scribe, nuke the video. Why not grab a snack while you're at it? What's wrong with a drink? I could personally go for a cold beer. Anyway, first question, and surprise, surprise. It's for me. This user is asking, how many times have I gotten my screen broken? Well, apart from that one time in the Patreon chat, and that other time in the pub, and that other other time in the V Tower, and literally every single time I see shipping fan art. Not that many times. Here's a good one. Dear Angel, what do you think about British guys? They can get a little squirmy every now and then, but other than that, ain't really got much to say. Heard they got some nice beer. Who knows, Dollface? Maybe I'll even pay you a visit one day. Is he always like this? You should see him when he's drunk. You mean it gets worse? Hard to imagine it getting any worse than this. You remember that one time when I got so drunk that I was walking around and swinging my- All right, all right! I think that's enough storytelling from you, my feminine fellow. I second that. Yeah, please stop. Husker, why won't you take the next question? Let's just say I had a lot of questionable comments from you guys. One person asked me if I like taking baths or not, since I'm a cat. Compared to some of the questions we had, kind of a softball. I don't like getting my fur wet. Not because I'm a cat. It's just because my fur tends to take a long time to dry out properly. Thank you for your kind answer. Also, why are you people asking about me and Angel's relationship status? Didn't we make it obvious and publicly say that we're dating in the podcast? How about we let someone else talk and you can jam that bottle down your... Hey, you might want to watch your mouth there, twerp. You seriously think you stand a chance? Weren't you the guy who was hiding in his little tower while we did all the fighting? What did you just say to me? Gentlemen, I believe we have more important manners to attend to. You're damn right we do. Precisely. Like these questions about me that people want answered. You narcissistic motherfucker. Like this dude right here asking me if loot is my favorite soldier. She's literally a lieutenant. Of course she's my favorite. Save my ass a couple of times as well. This guy sure does love sucking his own- We actually have another question for me. Someone asked me how do I feel about Lucifer stealing both of my wives? Jesus. I see that we're moving on to the so-called hard-hitting questions. Let me teach you dudes something. No one can ever take away your partner. If someone steals your girlfriend or wife or whatever, just keep in mind that they were never yours to begin with. Is that what you tell yourself to feel better? Excuse me? Don't go too hard on him. He might start crying. Do you two furries have any idea who you're talking to? Of course we do. The one pump chump. The f did you just say to me? I love it how Loot is just standing there and watching everything. She seems surprisingly unfazed. One might think she would intervene, yet she simply stands and observes. I'm sick of this shit. Are there at least any questions for me? Why, of course, my dear. Actually, the question Adam just read was a three-parter. There's one for you and one for Husk. Do I secretly love Adam and do I have a body pillow of him? Seriously? The answer is no. Are you certain? I... I think so. The way you were crying when Adam died, uh... I was acting. Certainly didn't feel like an act to me. I... I just never thought about it, okay? Well, now's your chance. So... Do you really love him, or is it all just an act? Who are we talking about? Nothing, sir. We are discussing Miss Loot. Yeah, no shit. I got that part. I'm asking whose dick does she secretly want? Sir, 
I would prefer if we switch the conversation. Apparently yours. Can we just move on to the next Is question? that even a question? I mean, have you seen all the body pillows she just has? Just give me the next question. Goodness gracious, calm down, my dear. So we do have one more question for loot, and it says... Yeah, I can f***ing read. And you know what? I don't want to answer any more questions. In fact, I think I'm done. The exit's over there, by the way. I feel kind of bad for her. Yeah, she deserves better. Something tells me she feels a little left out. Adam, perhaps you should talk to her? The f*** do you want me to do? Not my fault people don't care about her. Should have gotten more screen time. You're a real piece of sh**, you know that? Whatever, dude. Give me my next question. What next question? The questions people ask me. Don't play dumb, dude. Come on. Yeah, but you're done. You've already answered them all, my dear. What are you two talking about? I literally just answered two questions. Sorry, buddy. But that's all the questions we had for you. There are a few left for Angel and Husker, but I'm afraid the rest are for us. Are you f***ing serious right now? Not our fault people don't care about you, buddy. Should have gotten more screen time. You got that right. Now step aside. We got questions to answer. I f***ing hate you guys. Boo-hoo. Go cry about it. Just don't get the studio wet. We just got this place cleaned up this morning. The exit's over there, by the way. First door to the left. What's the second door for? That would be the bathroom. You can use it if you want. Take a sad sh**. Fuck you. No thanks, I'm good. Imagine getting f***ed by the one pump chump. No thank you. I'm good. Couldn't be me. Okay, let's move on to the next questions. Have you seen the freaky comments here in the Discord server about you or anyone else? Can we please not talk about the freaky comments? Are you traumatized or something? Trust me, pal, you don't want to know. Also, about Fat Nuggets. He's actually adjusting quite well. He likes everyone, you know. Except Alistair. But other than that, that little ball of joy is as happy as always. So will Fat Nuggets be making an appearance in the podcast? I guess you'll just have to find out. Fox, dear, could you please assist me with the next question? Let me see. This person seems to be talking about two pimp daddies. Any idea who they might be referring to? Are you, are you playing dumb? It's called putting on a show, Vox. I'm surprised you, of all people, failed to understand a simple sarcastic joke. Can you just answer the question? Very well. I'm sure that this comes off as no surprise to anyone. However, it would be nice to clarify that I enjoy jazz, especially after our filming sessions. I'm going to go with some electronic, if you can call it that. Some good examples would be NCS, Trap Nation, and everything in between. So to avoid revealing what I actually like, it's going to have to be electronic. I can confirm that, though my ears do tend to get disturbed when I listen to the music that you play when we are in private. Okay, buddy. Let's not accidentally mention any details. What was that one melody called again? I think I know which one he's talking about. One moment. Should I be afraid? I think you'll like it. Ah, here it is. The song is called Four Big Guys. Moving on to the next question. And this one is for Husk. Is Adam afraid of teenagers? You'd think the answer is yes. But surprisingly enough, he gets along with most teenagers pretty well. It kind of depends, though. If you're into heavy metal, y'all are going to get along just fine. I do admit that I find his taste in music quite childish and derivative. Yet for some reason, our fan base is, what's the word, obsessed over him. He doesn't like our fans, though. He thinks they're weird for whatever reason. All right, everyone, we're running low on time. Let's speed things up a bit. I'm actually surprised on how tame these questions are. I mean, I was expecting these questions to be a lot worse. I was actually thinking the same thing. As it turns out, our fans are not as bad as Do I- Do you have Skibbity Riz? There it is. I spoke too f***ing soon. You take it back? What do you think? What is Skibbity Riz? Moving on. Does Skibbity mean cool? Just answer the next question. What do I do on my free time? Well, my dear, after an entertaining yet dreadful days of work, I tend to enjoy the riveting melody known as jazz. You could say that I am having a skibbity time alone. Oh my god! Please don't god. say that. See what I deal Can with? Can we just move on? I want to answer normal questions. Exactly. Normal questions? Seriously? Did you forget who we are? What are you talking about? Let me show you some of our questions. Oh boy, here we go. Number one, how's the baby? What the fuck? Next question. Does Alistair know about the circus theory? Does it involve skibbity? I swear to f I will tear your antlers off and stick them right under your tail. Excuse me? Uh-oh. Must be silly of me to assume this, but I believe I just heard a threat. I think I'm just gonna take a few steps back. I think I'm gonna do the same. 
I will tear your soul apart and make you suffer. If you calm down, I'm going to give you a 70-year-old bottle of whiskey and listen to jazz with you for the whole night. You really do know me well, don't you, my dear? So do we have a deal? Indeed we do. It's a deal. I'm kind of disappointed. I even had the popcorn ready. Speaking of popcorn, for some reason people keep asking me weird questions. What do you mean by weird? I mean people are asking me how do I eat and drink. What's weird about that? You do realize that your head is basically a TV. Yeah, but I have a hole. So do we. Some say women have three. I'm talking about my mouth, you idiot. So you can what? Enable and disable your mouth at will? Pretty much, yes. Sounds like lazy writing. We're not breaking the fourth wall. And for the clothes? Some are very stretchy, while others have zippers on the backside. That explains why he's always wearing a suit. Can we just change the subject? Are you too shy to talk about your... Alistair, do you have any weird questions? It's funny you mention that. I have been receiving numerous questions regarding my tail. That's the weirdest question you got? Not quite. I have people asking me, when was the last time I brushed my teeth? Others are showing interest, wanting me to give recommendations to my hairdresser. And a handful of people were even asking a lot of unusual questions. I got a couple of those as well, actually. And I would like to answer all of those questions with one simple sentence. I'm surprised he's not picked. Out of your fucking business. Stay out of it. You were saying? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I have my fair share of weird questions, too, you know? Some actually already answered. Yeah, but it was answered in the Discord server and in the Patreon. Although I will admit, some of these questions were pretty cute. The fact that an adult is asking that question is very disturbing. Not as bad as literal kids asking me how I clean myself. Wait, why is the background different? We were handpicking all of the questions for a week. And by we, we mean just John. Of course you do. And on one of those days, someone gave John Nitro as a gift. Are there at least any interesting questions left? Or is it all just, well, this? We actually do. I was just saving some of the best for last. Well then, what are we waiting for? Husker, my dear. Could you kindly bring Adam back in the studio? I'll be right back. Speaking of dear, someone was asking why are you calling me dear and darling in some of the videos? Excuse me? Am I not allowed to speak freely? No, it's just that there are- Is my vocabulary limited? No one said that. It's just I'm that- I'm not quite sure I follow- Okay, moving on to the next question. Adam said he'll be back in a minute. Thank you, Husker. Was he still crying? Surprisingly enough, no. He was just on his phone. Vox, my dear, could you please tell me what non-canon ship means? Where did you find that question? And why is a 14-year-old asking me that? I assume the child is simply curious, though I fail to see why this question is concerning. I'm just gonna skip this question and move on to the interesting ones. Because this is probably one of the most interesting questions we've gotten so far. Do we all live together? Are you kidding me? As tempting as that sounds, we tend to live in different locations. Adam and Loot are in heaven, for example. Though most of us have our own place of residence, including myself. This doesn't mean that we don't stay over at the tower every now and then. And it's not like it's short on space either. Some of these videos take multiple days to record. So it's easier for all of us to just stay over for a couple of days and help make the filming process faster. Speaking of filming, we do have some questions about the podcast. They're not asking about the, nah, you know what, never mind. Anyhow, we think that Radio Static is amazing high-quality content that you must watch and enjoy. So who's gonna tell Shush him? Shush for a second. Let him have his moment. And believe me when I tell you this, when I first laid my eyes upon Radio Static, it made me so excited that I almost- I think that's enough. We have another question regarding the podcast. And this is actually something that we've been getting asked quite often. Correct. And while we are unable to provide a direct answer to these questions, what we can say with confidence is that there will be more guests appearing in the second episode. We've also been getting a lot of questions, asking if there will be other characters appearing on the channel. Rosie, Lucifer, Charlie, and even Nifty. And that's just to name a few. I think I'll let Alistair answer this question. We have good news, and even better news. Not only will those characters be appearing in the future episodes, some of them will even be joining the cast, similar to Husker and Angel. Let's just hope they ain't gonna be too annoying. What do you want, dude? Speak of the devil. We got a couple more questions to answer, and we needed you for this. Really? No. What the f***, dude? Loot, I need you for a moment. What is it? We have one new question that someone sent you. 
Really? Yeah, here it is. Question for loot. Would you... seriously? It's a question for you. I never said what it would be. And besides, we got a better question to answer. If we were to swap bodies and live as another person for a day, who would it be and why? Are we just gonna ignore the fact that they said we can choose whoever, but not friends and parts? Just choose someone already. Fine! I choose Alistair because you losers could use some proper music. In that case, I want to be Vox. I'd probably be better at the job anyway. Very funny. Anyway, I'm gonna choose Adam. It would be nice to have an army of actual warriors for once. I refuse to swap thoughts, let alone bodies, with any of you foul sinners. Therefore, I choose Adam. Somebody salty. Actually, I'll go for Adam as well. An interesting choice indeed, Husker. Why him? I wouldn't say no to a relaxing and peaceful day in heaven. Yeah, I bet you wish you could have that. Too bad for you. All right, Al. That leaves you. Who are you choosing? Isn't it obvious? Not really, no. I would choose myself. Oh my god. Are you serious? God. I kind of saw that You just coming, had to, to say that, didn't you? Is this what you called me here for? Because I would like to leave. Just make sure to come back here in a week for recording. Finally! We're gonna make some real content! The audience have been requesting this video for quite some time now. What's the video gonna be about? Loot rates all the male characters in Has Been Hotel. Wait, what? Are you serious? It's about time we give the people what they want. This is your chance, dollface. You know what to do. The f*** does this have to do with me? The f*** did loot have to do with you when you were raiding all the females? This is bull****. Actually, it's the end of the video. You gotta be 